Good morning. We have approximately 15 miles to go from Governor's Harbor to Hatchet Bay, and we're sailing. We have found that these small jumps in here, even though they're small distances, they're a lot of fun to sail because you aren't worried about getting there in time before it gets dark or before weather shows up. It's really nice to do these short day hops um, and experiment with stuff. So Todd is currently working on getting the mizzen up and we will have all of our sails going and we're running around three knots right now. For the Bahamas, we were just rushing to get to the next spot as far as we could go before it got dark. And that didn't lend itself very well to experimenting and trying new things. Now, this day, at four knots, it would take us almost five hours. As we left, as the sun is rising, and we've got all day to do what needs to be done. And Sterling, huh? Is that right? The last couple of days have been stormy and rainy and cloudy, and so our solar hasn't worked fantastic. So this morning, what are we down to? 68%. 68% overnight. Um, and then sailing today, or this morning, the sail is over here where the sun is coming from, so all of our house is shaded all the solar for our house bank so Todd's turned off the Starlink this morning and the girls are like what which is fine because they're supposed to be doing sport um, and chores and getting ready usually when we get up early at six o'clock in the morning to sail they sleep for a while longer after we get going after they help us get going. That's the one thing I think that Starlink has done that while it's so nice to be connected and it really helps us with being able to put up videos and that kind of stuff is it's taken away that time where you're just dis forced to disconnect. Now we're connected all the time and I think that there's something missing from being disconnected for days. I think that that wouldn't be a bad thing. I know we can just turn it off, but it's a lot harder emotionally, mentally to like flip that switch and turn it off than it is to just not have it be available. Looking for liberty? We're doing like 6.3 in 10 knots of apparent wind, but it's at 90 to 100 degrees, so it's probably closer to 15 knots of wind. We don't have all the setup to figure that out. It is a beautiful sail. We've passed our buddy boat. I want them to lead into Hatchet Bay. Hatchet Bay is sketchy. It's like 75 feet wide opening between rock cliffs. We are three miles offshore, so Todd is dumping the potty. Yeah, Todd's taking care of that. We're feeding the fishes today. Composting toilets need regular maintenance. Like, we don't mind our composting toilet but you have to be a lot more comfortable with everybody's bodily fluids dealing with it. So over here somewhere it's the cut into Hatchet Bay. Hey, I'm 
I'm a chicken. This is super sketchy, and I think that if it was completely up to me, I would have said no. We were we talked about we were going to do a drive by and look at it. When you're going in, um, you try to hug to the right. Waves are going to push you to the left side. Okay, Todd's going to drive. All we need to do is secure a call for us that we're coming in right after Kona. Look at how they're getting pushed around. Remind me why we're doing this. There's nothing even cool to see in Hatchet Bay. It's what we say from there. Yeah, but well, there actually isn't anywhere for a tanker right now with our wind direction. Make sure that tanker, the big mail truck, isn't moving. We don't want that to be coming out at the same time. On your AIS there. I call our security. Security, security, security. This is Sailing Vessel Spoon Drifter headed into Paget Bay to any concerned traffic. Standing by on one six. Oh my word. Right. Remember, she said, "Hug the, hug the right. You're not far enough right. You're gonna get blown against the left rocks." Yes, I am a backseat driver. Holy moly! Holy cow, we did it. <laughs> oh dear, you did it. Okay, watch for that right side, all those rocks over there. We were thinking about anchoring over here, but there's a lot of people over there. Our buddy boat's checking it out over there. Todd just swam on the anchor. It is buried well. We're in the northeast corner, northwest corner. We tried anchoring on the south side and it was super shallow and bad holding. <laughs> Still pretty out here though. He's cute. It's fucking handsome now. Hey. Good job. Yes. You would take all the puppies home with us, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Can I name him Gerald? Gerald? <laughs> okay. There you go. Keep going. They've given up already. Yeah. It wasn't as simple as they thought. <laughs> you might do it. I don't think you want to do it that way. No, you're going to hurt somebody, including me. Those are pretty small coconuts. Yeah, 
it. And then, um, look how pretty that is. And then that's why you get it. Um, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can keep it frozen. Just seal it off with the scales on so the scales can protect the meat. Yeah. Want to see the tension on it? Hold. <laughs> yeah, but don't shoot my toes. <laughs> you don't let it go, you know? It's like a slingshot but with a big metal pole. That's what these guys killed this Jerry, stuff see if you want to buy it? I've seen a couple of the smaller hogs just like that. I've never seen they don't one like that. Around me. So, this is pretty gone. Yeah, it's pretty gone, isn't it? How funny. It's flat. Whoop, whoop, good job. Those trees are so amazing to sit under. I know, they're way cool. They're <laughs> almost being in an air conditioner. They are, it's crazy, huh? Can we put one on the boat? Can we get a couple pineapples? Yeah, no problem. Oh, you almost sold out. <laughs> See that? Oh, man. I got, I got, I got five more. Oh, sorry. Just two. Okay, that's two? Oh, man. I get a deal, you know, I get a deal. The best one the whole in the whole world. Okay. Yeah. We Florida don't grow like us. Awesome. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't had pineapple in a long time. There you go. You can carry them for me. They are spiky. They are not cheap. Yeah, Three for twenty. <laughs> but I figure I'm helping the local economy, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> for sure. Y'all ready to get in? Mm. How much for the pineapples? Oh, I way too much. Me, what does that mean? 20 bucks. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, guys, it is so hot. How hot is it? Don't give me a dumb dad joke. Dumb dad joke? <laughs> okay. No, no, it's no. It's really hot. <laughs> Do we have anything that says how hot it is? No, I. it's probably got to be in the 80s. Is that all? Right? <laughs> Walking around town, we were about dying. A lot of um, trees and bushes and like really doesn't allow any wind. Being on the boat, it was much nicer than it was. But it, it's really warm. And we do not have air conditioner. Okay, what is it? It's so hot. <laughs> it's just one seven shy of winning the lottery. What does that the mean? Jackpot. What is 77 that? degrees. Nuh-uh. Yeah. No. 77, 90% humidity. Is that why it's so terrible? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I have to say this ice water is amazing. It runs nicely on our solar. It does. I don't think I could ever give it up now. I'm afraid. Mm -mm. It is worth it. 100 bucks at Walmart for a tabletop ice maker. It is worth it. So the thing that we do with this is we make ice and we put it in a Ziploc bag every day, filling it up so that we have lots of ice. Because the thing is, it's pretty warm and so it melts fast if you leave it just in the ice maker itself. But we also turn it off at night so we start over every day. All right, what's going on with this mess? Another well, project? Yeah, this is, um, I've heard that salt water makes your lines really hard, so um, ours were too soft. So what, you threw them overboard? <laughs> I did, because this morning I put up the shade cloth in the back. And as I was doing so, I felt something on my hands and I looked down and I had like 50 maggots crawling on my hand. I thought, what the heck are these? Where did they come from? So I'm looking at all the lines up here and everything, and I look down on the lid to the painter that we have all our dock lines in, right behind the mast, and it is covered in maggots because there's a garbage bag laying on top of it. Just garbage bags a day and a half old, but it, it was covered. They were crawling out of the garbage bag. They were everywhere. They were on my hands. They were climbing up my feet. They were all over the boat. And because they had also got inside the 
thing where our dock lines were just inside the lid I couldn't get them all off the ropes easy so I decided and this probably was not very smart but at the time it was the best solution I threaded a rope through them and threw them overboard into the salt water and let them soak for like four hours now I have to try to wash the salt water out of the lines hmm. and that's going to take a little bit more time so we're going to burn up a little bit of fresh water today but uh that was gross that was really really gr gross we think we've got them all i mean when i got over here they were climbing up the chair they were like everywhere so we're really hoping that we got them all like we need to double check everything Oh, there's one right there. I am so grateful that he cleaned that up before I was even aware that it was happening. But so from now on, no food goes in the garbage, goes overboard, and we are rinsing out cans and papers and things like that to have food residue on them so that we did not have that problem. Like for that to happen in two days was just unreal. A day and a half, ugh. Like we have a lot of flies. In the Bahamas, there's just a ton of flies everywhere. But maggots, that's a whole nother level of yuck. See you tomorrow. Right. What are you doing, Todd? I'm trying to feed the remora. Cat Fish. food? Yeah, this is dog food. Maybe that's why it doesn't like it. <laughs> the things Todd does to stay entertained. Yeah. We like to keep our dinghy pulled up so it doesn't get so nasty underneath of it. The boat's kind of a wreck. Sunshades go up and down multiple times. These are the hoses and the lines that Todd was rinsing out from the maggot incident. This tent-like thing is because it has sprinkled off and on all day and it is too hot to close the hatches. So that keeps it dry. Gotta do what it takes, man. It was warm today. This is Todd's nightly routine yep keeping the dinghy secure since we have these thunderstorms that like to show up at three o'clock in the middle of the night well and they're new this is mainly just to because all that swell which shows up in the middle of the night we end up rocking ear to ear and the dinghy's swinging but now we got thunderstorms starting up that are doing the same thing Yep. So, oh, should stay pretty much okay. Ready for the night? Almost. Oh, we have to take care of dinner. There he is. Kind of funny looking fish because they kind of have a like a footprint on their head. What you do? Get yourself a little bit of cat food like this. Oh, there's more than one. Look. It's like an upside down fish. So I'm making pancakes. I made them for the kids and Todd 
Now it's my turn to eat. I'm gonna put some berries on them. The girls had Nutella, some of them had syrup. Was it good? Yeah, any more. There's three more. Three more. <laughs> so one of the things that we do on the boat is make powdered drinks. So we don't have orange juice, we have Tang. How many of you remember Tang? <laughs> yeah. That stuff they took to the moon, but that doesn't dissolve worth the crap in your water. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> breakfast. Laundry. Water. This is how we eat it. Come out here, enjoy the view. You like the view, Abigail? <laughs> Abigail doesn't like to be on camera. Those thunderclouds are everywhere, and we're supposed to have rain off and on today. But we are still going to go exploring. Because when it says it's going to rain for three days straight, the idea of just sitting in the boat every day, all day, for days on end, it doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Watching the tide roll away, sitting on the dock of the bay. Got fogged up windows this morning. Okay, it's not really fog, it's just condensation, but it's a challenge. We are trying to get out of Hatchet Bay with first light so that we can make current cut this morning. Um, the first tropical storm of this season has formed in the Gulf, and the remnants are coming this direction and we've got today and tomorrow to move as far north as we can. We could weather it here, but that would keep us here for another week, which we really don't want to do. We've been here a week, so we're going to get moving. That's where we're at. We've got no wind. All right, haven't got the motor started. It's low tide three and a half feet under our keel and the mosquitoes are out. Okay, I suspect we're almost through. Okay. You up? Hey, Todd, are you loose? Yes. All right, babe, take us through the cut. <laughs> well, you did the hard one. This one should be easy. Oh my god. We have to say goodbye to Kona. See you later, guys. Thanks for all your help, man. All right, Todd brought us through the cut when it was bouncy. Um, today he's going to stand on the bow because um, it's not fully light out here. Oh man, the mosquitoes are terrible. And with these uh, windows kind of fogged up, I have really poor visibility. That's the cut we got to go through right there. You can see those rocks coming out. It's actually got a pretty straight path if you go perpendicular to it. Do you have somewhat of a course, babe? Um, yeah, okay. but I really need you to guide me yeah i can't see the markers yet so i can see the red one you're doing good there we go now i can see the green one okay go more to the left babe how much more quite a bit you're going to be hugging this right side as you're going through so
Looking good so far. See the bottom? <laughs> like we got a rock over there. We got rocks over here. All right. You did it. Not out yet. <laughs> For all practical purposes, you're out. You did it. I did it. You navigated through the cut. <laughs> I'll do those kind of cuts all day long. We're gonna have to do some motoring today, I'm afraid. The El Nino has messed up the trade winds over here and the weather patterns have gone to the crapper. And so in order for us to get out of here and start working our way more north, today was it, no matter what. But it's a motoring day, but we only have to motor, what, 16 miles. Yeah, I just saw lightning. So, it's not, not bad. That's going to see if he can catch us a fish for dinner. Since we got those crabs and that lionfish, we have not caught any more fish. It's actually kind of hard. You see these people on YouTube, they're just like pulling in the fish, and pulling in the fish. It seems like it's not as easy as they make it look. If you've got any tips, put them down below. What do you think, kitty kitty? Yeah? You need some loves? Do you want any loves? Mm. All right, you can see glass window from here. We never made it up there because the weather was not right. That is the bridge. Our friends were saying the problem is you wait for weather and wait for weather and you get the right weather window that you can either go see all the things you wanted to see or move to the next place. But then the weather is going to keep you in the same place again. So it's like, how long do you just keep doing that? No. We waited a week for weather to happen so we could get over there. It didn't happen. And if we miss today, we're stuck in Hatchet Bay for another week. And we didn't want to do that either. So <laughs> we are just motoring along in this glassy, glassy water. So it's only taking like 900 RPMs to keep us going four knots to make current cut. Because if you remember from when we came through current cut, you have to get there at two hours past Nassau's tide. So you can go through at high tide and you can go through at low tide, which gives you slack water. You look like quite the fisherman. <laughs> fisherman? <laughs> Are we catching anything yet? Well, fishermen catch fish. I, I don't know what that makes me. <laughs> I like to throw lines in the water, I guess. Yeah. Looks like we can see current cut up there. I know. It looks like we're getting close, but I think we still have an hour and a half or so, don't we? Uh -huh. I think it's closer to two hours. Right. It's just a long ways that you can see everything. Yeah, well, when you're walk going walking speed, <laughs> right? <laughs> Coming up on current cut again. Hopefully, um, we timed it right for the slack tide. <laughs> totally beautiful day. Look at that calm water. I mean, we can see the bottom. We can see starfish. We can see all kinds of stuff on the bottom. Haven't found any treasure chests though. I don't know where all those are hiding. So how's our speed going? We're uh, 4.8 knots. So we've got the current going with us? Got the current going with us a little bit, it looks like.
So what's our speed looking like? 6.1. That's crazy considering we were supposed to be at slack tide. 31 feet deep. All right, you got this. Yes, I do. Well, we did it. We made it through again. Oh, Todd's got a fish. Todd's got a fish. Probably a barracuda because it's super shallow. So what do you think it is? <laughs> well, it's not fighting very hard anymore. Abigail! Okay, why don't you uh, let's slow the boat down. Can you stop the boat? No. That's nice. That's a nice fish. All right, Abigail. Let me hold pull and you. Okay, hold pull. Can you reach? We need a longer gap. Holy cow, dear, we have good fish for dinner. It's giant. Hey, you got a picture? All right, dear. That's an awesome fish. All right. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, well, now you get to clean it while I drive the rest of the way to Spanish Wells. Right. Here, take that liberty. Thank you. It's so big. You want to hold this for me while I go get stuff? The fish? Yeah. Hold it in place. Yeah. It's heavy. Why is it so heavy? That's going to be yummy for dinner, huh? It's so Send a picture oh, to yeah. Dallas. Ask him what it is. <laughs> so pretty out here today, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Now he's letting you hold her. Not mm. anymore. <laughs> Ooh, lemonade. Yum. Thank you. What is that? What? It's pineapple. That is white pineapple. That's that white, that pineapple we got from that guy on the side of the road. Let's go make fish tacos. Fish tacos! Fish tacos with that mutton snapper you caught. Woo! Woo! That was a good swim. It's been a hot few days. It felt fantastic to get in that water. But Liberty got in with a jellyfish. We think it was a jellyfish. Let's go see if we can help her. Vinegar didn't help, so your legs feel better? <laughs> All right, so we'll just put some baking soda paste on there. Does that feel better at all? Like putting it on there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we'll put a big band-aid on it to cover it, okay? Abigail's making us brownies for tonight. Find a recipe. Mm -hmm. Oof. Those all look yummy, don't they? Do you have a remedy for jellyfish stings? Put it in the comments below. We, we need one. There's just jellyfish around. It's a thing. Okay guys, mutton snapper tacos tonight. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. This is way cool, check this out. Got my little fish basket. Look at all that. Look at all that mutton snapper. We're turning that into mutton snapper tacos with some uh, like a cabbage, spicy cabbage coleslaw stuff to go with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not much for one for showing like our food, but I'm excited about this. This is my first catch fish that I caught on a pole to eat because the barracuda didn't count. What do you think, Denali? Huh? What do you think? You, you hear somebody? Here, rinse that off outside. All right, there is an amazing moonrise over here. Well, dear, was it a good day? It's a good day. Beautiful, clear water, 25 feet deep. I guess the only thing that would have made it better today is if we were able to sail the whole way instead. 
But other than that, I'll take it, man. Because any day you live again is a good day. <laughs> well, sweetie, I think it was a wonderful day. Hold on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Oh, there you go. <laughs> this, is, this is what they do on Instagram, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. We are going to go watch Captain Ron because our <laughs> girls have not seen it yet. That's right. Because, <laughs> you know, we got to learn how to park the boat. <laughs> See you next week. See ya.